It's two o'clock in the morning. I can't sleep. And I'm getting tired of watching crap on YouTube. So <clears throat> I decided to clean out one of my um, random storage bins. And I've got all these LEDs. And I need to test them. And I got tired of hooking them up to the power supply and doing all that. So let's make an LED tester. Super simple. Not too much thinking is required. So I just dug around to see what I've got. All right, I've got a AA battery holder. I've got, let's zoom out here, some DuPont cables. Frankly, that's all we need. Oh, and a resistor. So, uh, AA alkaline batteries, nominal voltage of 3 volts. All right, let's, let's figure out our maths here so we know what we're talking about. So our V plus is three volts. We're going to shoot for the lowest voltage LED, which would be the red LED, which will have VF of... 1.8 to 2 volts. We'll just call it 2 volts. So we want our current to be about 20 milliamps. And now we have all the information we need except what size resistor we need. So 3 volts minus 2 volts equals 1 volt to drop. And so if we take 1 volt and we divide that by 0 0.02 or 20 milliamps, well, we get 50 ohms. Closest resistor to 50 ohms is 47 ohms. So now we've got all the information we need and all the parts we need. Let's get to constructing. All right, we don't need the male side of the DuPont connector. So we'll cut it off about halfway. I think I hear a train coming. They don't ever stop. 24 hours a day, they're bringing garbage. Yep, there's a train. Bringing garbage to the landfill. All right. So we'll twist these up real nice. Then we'll strip our battery leads as well. When I have overnight guests who are unaccustomed to our friendly trains, they are often quite surprised. And wake up in the middle of the night going, what the hell was that? Oh, that? That's just a train. Nothing to worry about there. Now I need to get that to focus. Okay. Bring in some solder and our soldering iron. And let's tin these connectors. Very nice. Very nice. Now we'll do the same with our DuPonts. Now 
if you tin everything first, all you have to do is reflow. And things work out real easy for you. Very nice. Okay, next we need a resistor. We don't need much of the leads. So we'll just nip them off like that. And yes, we will tin our resistor as well. Everything gets tin. Remember, solder flows where solder's been. So it's always best to tin, tin, tin. A little dab for thermal transfer. Get them nice and tinned up like that. Okay, it's a resistor. It is a non-polarized component. So it really doesn't matter which side we put it on. But we will put it on the negative side just for fun. And we're going to use heat shrink. And we always want to add that before we solder. If you don't, you'll forget and things will not work out as well as you had hoped. So now we just have to hold those together, reflow them. That's not bad, but you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna trim this just a little bit. We don't need that much. Reflow and go in there. Okay. Then we'll do the other side. Once again, we'll trim those a little bit. Just because we don't need that much. Reflow them. And that is taken care of. Next up, we'll put our heat shrink on. The proper way to do this is with a heat gun. I don't have one. So, a lighter will do just fine. And finally, we have to connect those two guys. And once again, don't forget to add your heat shrink. Yeah, I could have trimmed them a little better, but... This is a 2 a.m. project. We ain't working for NASA here. Everything's nice and flowed. Put our heat shrinker on there. And now, if we've done everything properly, we should be able to test our LEDs. The DuPont cables are nice because they're color-coded, so I know the white is the positive, long leg positive. Try to actually hit the holes. 
That's a good one. That's a good one. Get my fingers to work. <laughs> There's a nice blue one. There's a green one. And finally, a yellow one. Minimal current. Test your LEDs really easy. Quick project, simple to do. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.